What's up, everybody? It's me, the guy with the tie, and we're talking about my my layout at this moment. As you can see, it's CSX. I've showed several uh, videos of certain drive-bys with trains. Well, we're not going to be having any of that for a while. Reasoning is, is I decided to add a switch. So this area here, as you can see, I don't think I've ever really filmed this area. There's going to be, so where this train is, you see that blue mark, there's a road. These are where all fruit warehouses are going to be. Um, I guess they're called storage plants. I actually don't really know. I never worked for one, but these were in my town when growing up. So we have several, including, um, well, this one is about 40 inches long, and this one's about 38. It seems ambitious, but actually, they're just three to four walls. I'm going to make it three because they go against the wall and a roof. Now, there's a lot of detail to add to it, but little detail is a lot easier than bigger detail. And over here we have one that is... Oh, I took away the... Oh, well, here. Let me put this down real quick. Give me one second. Do, 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 do. So this warehouse, so the train's going to go through it pretty much as you see it, and it'll be cut in half. But the back will all be warehouses. But this is going to be 76 inches long. In the terms of the great pioneers, that's very long. And out, um, so we're trying to see where to put it out. We're going to put three tracks back there. So we're assuming it's going to be like here. Because the road, I believe, is four inches. That's one of my next tasks to do is pin up the road. So what happened to my track? Why did it all have to get ripped apart into a million little pieces? Let's go to the culprit. And it's a very intriguing culprit at that. We have here a Pico, or Peco, whatever you want to call it, switch, an electrofrog. All my switches were electrofrogs. So I installed this one. Exactly as I install all of them, as you can see, I mildly know what I'm doing. And it shorted, which had me very confused. I'm going to throw this away. Once I'm done with this, I not much I can do about it. So it shorted out. So I knew that it shorted it out, and I did it how I did all my other switches, so I cut it off as carefully as I could so this track is still, you know, where it sits is where it's going to sit. And it still is shorted. So I hunted down the short and my other four switches that I had shorted as well. So I'm sitting here going, wait a minute. Had these dudes short when they didn't short for, you know, eight to ten months prior? And I was really thrown off, so I have to buy all new. I'm going to get insole frogs because I'm running locomotives like this. And I'm going to put a... What is it called? Anti-die in it. Was stay Alive. There we go. Stay Alive from Soundtracks. So I've come across another problem that I'm hoping someone on the internet can assist me with. So I have this uh, Genesis. Its DCC is completely fried. It turns off and on, off and on, off and on. It obeys no commands. It won't. It, it goes forward when it feels like it goes backwards. You know, and it shoots like a son of a gun. How hard is it to replace one of these? And how do you get, like, soundtracks to send you one with the proper locomotive power? Because they just have an Atlas replacement. And it's like, uh, I don't really have, because this is my system, I don't really have a system to really program it to the GP15T. But we'll get there. These two are beautiful, though. These are from Atlas. I'm tripping over a cat right now. Please move on, fungi. And this one's from Atlas, too, and I'm having issues with this one as well. I replaced... It sound decoder was dead. So I replaced the sound decoder with uh, with the Soundtracks one, and for, for just giggles, I put in a new speaker. It sounds great, but it has the same problem. The problem is, is when I have to get up to speed... It won't even start recognition until after one. So maybe there's an easy, like, 
you know, I'll give this to a friend with a computer. I don't have a friend with a computer, but I'll find somebody and have them tune it up because these are really good at the slow maneuvers and, of course, scale trains and Rapido are excellent at it. And this one, like I said, doesn't function at all. It, it functions at random, which is really upsetting. I've unscrewed everything because naturally I'll get a better speaker for it and you know, all that fun stuff because the speaker's kind of sad as well. And yes, this was made in 2012, yeah. So it's old. As in, it was never used. The box was still taped up everything. So I think Shelf killed it. Oh well. So I do want to ask, will Insul Frogs, because I, I got to buy about 15 of them, will Insul Frogs make DCC wiring just, you know, easy cheesy? I did keep this track wired up too by soldering out the ends, hopefully... Oh, that one I did. Oh, no, I cut them off. That's right. Okay, I cut them off, and then I'm going to solder them off. Because I'm trying to save those. Those are not cheap. You know, i got to try to save everything. I did throw away all the track that was glued down because it's, it's, it, there's just no hope. Some of my coaches are kind of screwed around. I don't like that. They're supposed to remain uh, on the track. So this will be very interesting. I think it'll be great. The reason why I'm choosing such big buildings is it just sucks up space, but with detail. And that's a, and you know, we got all this fun stuff. What are, what are these? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so these are going to go into the slots, slotkins. Uh, you know, just great stuff like that. Got some, you know, nice signs. These are brass. I never, I do not like plastic. Got ladders. We got, what are you? Come out with your hands up. Oh, more pallets. Truck pallets. These fun things, a showcase miniature makes some great stuff. My friend Rao got me onto them. Got some squirrel exhaust vents. Those are very obvious. Obviously, seen. we got the coaches out here all carefully lined up. And as you can see, they're, they're a bit fantastic. Also, my roads, you probably didn't see it, my roads made out of grout just didn't work. And, well... I live and learn. I'm going to use the Walthern system. Everybody's like, that's expensive and stupid. Yeah, but it's idiot proof. That's that's what I need is idiot proof. Oh, well, I'm not here to complain. I'm actually looking for answers. And that's about it. So everybody, God bless. Take care. And I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.